One of the things you notice when you sit to meditate and focus on the breath is how much the mind talks to itself. You'd think it wouldn't have to talk to itself. It would know something and the whole mind would know. There'd be no need to reinforce the message, but that's not how the mind works. It's constantly chattering about this, about that, because there are lots of things to pay attention to, and you've got to make up your mind what to pay attention to and what to do about it. And so one of the important skills in meditating is learn how to turn that chatter into something useful. So you talk to yourself about the breath. How's the breath going? Is it good? If it's not good, what can you do to change it? That's a useful topic. Whether the mind is settling down or not settling down, that's also a useful topic. As for whether you're a good meditator or a bad meditator, that's not a useful topic. Just put that aside. Try to focus on only the things that are useful. And this is a good lesson not only where you're meditating, but as you go through life. The Buddha said his, in, his standards for right speech were, one, it had to be true. And if it passed the first test, then the second test was, is it useful? Is it beneficial? And if it passed that test, then the next test would be, is this the right time and right place to be saying this thing? Is this the right person to be talking to? In other words, are these the right circumstances to be saying that? And this is a good guideline for speech. You find this especially as we're living here, and a lot of us squeezed into small quarters. It's winter, but we've got a lot of people. So you can't spread out around in the orchard as much as you might like. So there's going to be talking. There's no vow of silence. But what you try to do is make sure that your talking doesn't disturb the peace of the other people around you, that it actually is beneficial. You ask yourself before you say anything, is it true? Is it beneficial? Is this the right time and place for this? And if it doesn't pass the test, then you just be quiet. That solves a lot of problems. You think how much better a place the world would be if people would apply those three tests to their speaking. So here's your opportunity to learn a little right speech both inside and outside. Because then when you're sitting and meditating, that's the same issues coming up again. Is this true? Is this beneficial? Because some things may be true, but they're not beneficial to think about. And if it's true and beneficial, is this the right time? There may be some important things you've got to do later in the day, but right now is not the time to think about them. Right now is the time to think about the breath. You can think about those other things other times. So try to make sure that your speech as you go through the day is not a disturbance to yourself or other people. And that'll enable you to monitor your speech even better when you sit down and stay with the breath. This is how the meditation and right speech are related. They help each other along. Right speech helps your meditation. The more you meditate, the easier it is to maintain right speech. This is why the practice is not just the practice of sitting here with your eyes closed. It's a practice of how you live as you go throughout the day. And the way the mind talks to itself and the way you talk to other people are an important part of the practice.